Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Scarfinger, and this is the first in a series of three uh, misfires. Um, I am using those paints, uh, the Liquitex Basics paints, for the first time. And uh, I seem to have a uh, series of three mishaps. Um, the first one was completely my fault. Um, you're going to notice that I use this paint out of this bottle. Now, it's not the actual paint that's in the bottle. It's a mixture that I had created and then I put it. Uh, yeah, I had some excess left and I put it back in that bottle and it didn't quite go as well as I had hoped. Uh, so this one is a, um, you know, I'm just going to pour everything in. Just wanted to do, get some flip cup action going and, um, see what I'm working with here. Uh, I should have used the white that was in the Liquitex Basics bottle, but I figured I, I had no real intentions on using a lot of white. And then I ended up pouring too much in the cup. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. It'll be all right. Uh, apparently it was not. So while, while I'm mixing up these paints, you know, I, I used all of the other colors, including a little bit of black. Um, I, okay. So here's what really happened. Um, I made up these cups and my intention was to kind of stretch it a little bit, uh, and get several paintings out of the paint that I mixed up. And um, that causes problems with the second painting. I'm going to release all three of these, uh, separate from each other. Uh, so it can be, you know, a, a, I call it, a, a tragedy in three acts. Um, but yeah, this one, I, I messed up because of that white mixture. I thought I had mixed it up pretty well and I had not. And also for for this video, I'm not going to cut it because I didn't do a, uh, a shot of it after the fact. So I didn't cut it. I just let it be what it was. And you see right now, it doesn't look that bad at all. Um, but I'm starting to notice the white paint. And at this point, I'm very, very worried about how this thing is actually going to come out. Uh, and it just so happens that that white paint was not mixed right at all. Even though I had previously mixed it, I didn't test it out. Um, so then I, I, you know, put the heat gun on it, try to get the bubbles out. And I'm thinking I'm golden. I'm thinking that everything is okay. Uh, the white paint is coming through it. And I'm just in, um, I'm very much on panic mode at this point. So I was like, you know what? It's already on the canvas. I'm going to go ahead and do my thing. So um, I, I started in some of my other paintings uh, tilting a little bit slower um, because I noticed that I got better. It, it looked better when I tilted slower. Uh, it wasn't as like stretched out and crazy. But yeah, you're going to see in a moment why uh, this was a grave, grave mistake. As of right now, doesn't look that bad. You can see those white splotches coming through and um, it's not looking great. Um, and like the more I tilt the canvas, the more that white is uh, showing up on the painting where it shouldn't. And it's starting to create problems. So I just figured, you know, I know some people will just scrape the painting and start over. Um, I, do, I don't really like to do that uh, I, because, you know, if I'm going to if I'm going to fail at a painting, at least I want to see how I failed it and then have it there as a reminder of what to do differently. Uh, I put them all up on the wall uh, and see now you're starting to see what happened because that white paint wasn't right. And that looks terrible. I mean, that looks horrible. The white paint just completely took over this painting. Uh, and then, um, you know, I'm still trying to do my thing. And then, I, and then I start tilting it the other way to try to get some of that white paint off, but there isn't enough of the other paint coming through to make this work right at all. So I, I'm just trying to do what I can. And to be honest, it, even with the way that the white paint looked at this point, uh, it didn't look 
that bad. It just kind of looks like that was a choice that I made until it dried. But I instantly knew once that white started to come through, I instantly knew that this was a bad fluid painting. Um, and, and, you know, I, I, I wanted to try to, I wanted to try to, uh, well, I wanted to just put up uh, everything. Uh, well, actually, I contemplated not putting this up. Um, but a lot of my friends was like, well, you should put this up anyway. But I wanted to put up the successes and the failures and show you that this is what can happen if you don't uh, prepare your paints the right way. And I completely failed at this. And like I said, I know it's bad. And when it dried, it looked absolutely worse. So I might actually, you know, I might actually put that painting. I might actually put the dry painting up at some point. Um, but at this point, I knew this was a loss. I mean, it was it was absolutely a loss. And you know, you you live and you learn. You 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 paint and you burn. I guess you could say. I just wanted to say something that rhymed. Honestly, but yeah, this is what happens when you don't prepare your stuff properly, and I did not. So, on to the next tragedy. I'll post this other video up in a moment. Peace out. Go to the website, uh, web facebook dot com slash ptcac for peace through colors arts and crafts um you're i'm i'm probably going to be working on a website or i'm going to put it on to my um podcast website which is uh geeksconraw.com and i'm still working on some things on the on, on the side as like other things like a patreon and all that kind of stuff so hit that like button my failure